Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer because, wow, it's early in the morning and Sony just said, we're going to drop this trailer. Um, and as you guys know, I was on my way to take um, my mama to work. And I'm just like, wow, let me pull over and see the link of this trailer. So, first off, the spot design looks terrible. Like, what the fuck is up with that damn design? And don't get me wrong, I thought Kingpin design was weird too, but the spot, I don't know, something about the 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 bubble gut and the, the long, long legs is just pretty stupid, honestly. Um so that's weird. And then that scene where um, stuff was falling out of out of the out of the little hole that's near his his you know where his his air, his private areas. I was just like, yeah, that's that is just creepy or whatever. But um, it is kind of it, it kind of interesting to see Miles struggle with being Spider Man and um, being Miles all at the same time because that's something. And it's kind of it's kind of funny because um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because when he told his mom whatever and and then and then she was like, "Are you kidding me?" And then she kind of starts speaking Spanish on his ass. Then you know um, they in the parent teacher conference thing where it was just like, "Oh yeah, um, Miles is doing great," um, and except for he got to be in Spanish. And then he, he, he it was kind of funny because he was like, "Are you trying to give your mother a heart attack?" She was like, "A B." Uh, be in Spanish, Miles. Come on now. You've been speaking Spanish all your life. You should not be getting a B in Spanish. I guess. Especially when it comes to, you know, the Hispanic uh, moms. Like, they be upset with you. They be upset with you, for real. Like, I, I can't even see if this car is going on thing. But, um... But, yeah. They, um... It's kind of funny. I always, I always run into like, um, like friends who had like, who like can speak Spanish fluently, and then when they get in Spanish class or whatever, and then um, if they're parent um, or around, you know, when you have parent teacher conference night, you can hear the anger when when they uh, when the when the teacher be like, oh, they're barely passing Spanish or something like that, and the parent look at them like, are you fucking kidding me, bitch? That's your first language. <laughs> but. Um, anyway, anyway, so, um, Gwen decides, Hey, you know, you want to get out of here and stuff like that. You know, after the distresses, the stresses of being Spider-Man and he was like, sure. And of course, um, they, they go to the little thing or whatever. And it's basically like, my, um, it's basically like the, there's a group league, league of teams of different Spider-Man and Miles is like, okay, cool. How can I be one? Miguel's like, you can't. You you literally can't be um, Spider-Man. You can't join this group anyway. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, why? There's other Miles Morales out there. So what makes this one different? You know what I'm saying? Which is kind of strange because, because you know, um, since we're always talking about alternate realities, since a lot of those are alternate realities of Peter Parker's anyway, there's got to be alternate reality versions of Miles Morales. What makes miles special enough that he can't join the team because it, it, you got references to other spider-mans where miles will exist like where is the ultimate universe spider-man at you know the, you know the main continuity miles Morales. where is he at you know what i'm saying i just where's old man miles um where is the um the marvel spider-man miles morales you know the cartoon one and then of course you have ultimate spider-man cartoon miles morales um kid arachnid where is um what was the i'm missing one more oh um this the marvel spider-man video game um spider-man you know what i'm saying but it was kind of it was it, it's kind of crazy because when he was talking about i want to join the team and then miguel o'hara was like um, no, you can't join and stuff like that, especially not after that little stunt that Spider Man with Doctor Strange from Earth 119999. And it's just like, oh my god, he's talking about Spider Man No Way Home. I'm like, yes, <laughs> finally, somebody gets the earth right. 
But my thing is, what they got to do with Miles Morales, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, the way Miguel is acting, he's acting like um, this Miles Morales is going to do something that's going to be catastrophic. I'm talking about he's not ready or whatever and stuff like that. And it looks like uh, Peter B. Parker and Gwen Stacy was in on it, trying to get him to join, you know, I guess join or not join or whatever, stuff like that. Because he's talking about you can't be um, this being being Spider-Man is a sacrifice, but it's just like, yeah, that's true. But at the same time, there are also a lot of Spider-Mans that are able to balance out their personal lives and their um their spider their spider lives. Yeah, are there casualties? Yes, are there sacrifices? Of course. But let's not pretend like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that. Miles Morales is just this so this spe- I'm not, yes Miles is a special a uh, special spider I will give you granted for that but I don't think he's special enough where he's going to screw up the the um the spider verses you know and if anything shouldn't you be going after Tom Holland Spider Man if anything since he's the one who like screwed up a lot of stuff or if that's the case wouldn't it make sense to go after um after the main continuity Spider-Man with the Spider-Verse thing because it was because of the main continuity Spider-Man, the Earth 616 thing and the whole thing with Morlon and releasing that into the Spider-Verses or whatever, stuff like that is the reason why a lot of this stuff is going because right now it seems like Miguel O'Hara is in his fucking feelings about Miles Morales and it's just kind of weird honestly because you don't really see the the issue, well I mean you kind of do see the issue but at the same time, he kind of feels more petty than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, uh, Miles, we, we're trying to teach you a lesson that being Spider-Man isn't what it's cracked up to be. And maybe you shouldn't be Spider-Man or whatever and stuff like that. Because you're not ready for the sacrifice and hardships of being Spider-Man. Because a lot of us Spider-Man, and when we got our powers or whatever, it was at the edge of tra- uh, of tragedy. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it, it kind of feels like that, but it kind of feels like Miguel O'Hara is projecting whatever issues he has going on onto Miles Morales instead of focusing on himself or what what happened with him. And then there, since there are other versions of Spider-Man 2099, wouldn't it make sense for other Miles um, Miguel O'Hara's to be after too? Like, if you're gonna show these, if you're gonna show this character. Remember, there's alternate versions and realities of Miguel O'Hara, just like there's alternate versions of Miles Morales. And throughout the trailer, if those two are going to be focused, wouldn't it make sense to see other versions of Miles Morales? And then you got, uh, well, you got about 300, 300, 300 million Spider-Man after Miles Morales because he rejects his, he rejects Miguel's offer, and then Miguel doesn't want to send him back home. Like, what the fuck are we doing? It, it feels petty. It feels petty because of someone who thinks he knows something about another character. You don't know about Miles Morales. So for you to even make assumption based on other spider characters, guess what? Each Spider-Man is going to fucking screw up just like you screwed up too. But who are you to try to come up into, into Miles Morales' life and try to dictate what needs to happen? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. To me, it just feels, it feels weird. It feels, it definitely feels weird to me. Um, if you ask me, that's just my, that's just my personal opinion on the, on the take right there. Um, will I watch the movie? Most likely. I'm just saying it, it, it doesn't feel like it's a, it's a Miles Morales story. It feels more like it's a Miguel O'Hara story featuring, um, Miles Morales that's what it feels like to me but i don't know maybe that's just that's just how how it's coming off because it feels like it doesn't have the focus of miles himself it feels like it's it's a it's a um it's a sequel but it's using um miles morales as the catalyst because he is the main character but using it to introduce miguel o'hara and his issues more so than dealing with Miles. 
if that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just me. Um, but I kind of would have wanted to see, like, the spot is the reason why things are happening. And he kind of, like, set up Miles Morales. And then that's the reason why um, these alternate reality Spider-Man are coming. Because he fought um, the spot, which did some damage to the universe or something like that. And now they're like, you screw up or whatever and stuff like that. But then um, Peter B. Parker and um, Spider-Gwen are trying to, like, convince the other spiders, like, no, Miles is good or whatever and stuff like that. That seems like that would be more interesting than whatever the hell they showing me right now. Because, again, like I said, it seems like um, Miguel doesn't like Miles Morales and he got, he, got, he got in his feelings about things and think that he can tell Miles what to do. And it's just like that's not how that works. You can't you can't tell somebody what to do just because you're feeling insecure about stuff or because you're tired of what's going on. And then trying to say that Miguel O'Hara is the leader of this whole Spider um, Verse thing, it's like no, not really because there are comic books that will contradict your entire thing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. <sighs> Am I gonna go see the movie? Of course. I, I have to reiterate that again because I don't want nobody to be like, oh. Um, I'm hating or whatever because I know everybody will think I'm like the biggest Miles Morales simp or something like that, which I'm not. I'm just saying, like, if you guys will actually read the damn character instead of just listen to what everybody else is saying, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good character and he's completely different from Peter Parker. But, um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, are you guys going to see Spider Man across the Spider Verse or what? I'm quite sure people are because it's Spider Man. But yeah, I'm just just saying. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.